students from unit number 2 that is sale of goods act and consumer production act here i will discuss the uh, damn sure questions whichever i have given in the video uh, which that explanation only i will do in this video for today's examination so the first one is differences between sale and agreement to sale so this differences answer you need to be perfect with your choice okay here uh, the thing is you need to remember this basis ma if you remember this basis this matter and this matter you can write it by your own you need to remember this basis meaning nature transfer of property types of goods risk of loss consequences of breach like that you need to remember the differences uh, basis uh, and remaining thing sale and agreement to sale that answers you can easily write it okay so here the meaning of sale is nothing but sale see, selling the transfer of goods and services for a buyer for a price okay agreement to sale means we are agreeing to that sale after 3 months i will sell this product to you after one year i will uh, sell this house to you like that we are making an agreement so nature it is absolute in nature it is condition in nature okay transfer of property is nothing but the property in the goods transfer get passed by the buyer immediately and the seller will not more consider the owner so this difference is answer you please be perfect with your own because uh, just my suggestion is just you remember that basis and remaining thing you can write it by your own okay so next important question is unpaid seller and rights of unpaid seller okay who is a unpaid seller a seller who is not receiving his pure amount then it is known as a unpaid seller for example i sold my mobile to you for 10000 but you are refusing to pay that 10000 to me then i will be called as a unpaid seller if a seller is not receiving the amount of the sales then he will not he will call it as a unpaid seller here A, a, a sold a mobile for b for 40000 rupees b took mobile and refused to pay the amount to a then a is called as a unpaid seller okay i hope that you have got clarity about the unpaid seller four marks important as well as 12 marks also important okay here in rights of unpaid seller you will have different types of rights you will have ma the so first one is you will have rights of unpaid seller against the goods means he can transfer the buyer and he can property is not transferred to the buyer means he can unpaid seller when the property in goods of the buyer he can resell the amount which can be sold to the b but who refuse to pay the about then he can resell that amount to another parties and next he will have a right to sue for interest okay if it is not he is not paying to the uh, price or product he is not paying the price to the product then we will call if he is delaying means we will calculate interest also that right also uh, unpaid seller will have next claim for damages if any uh, damages was occurred by the buyer then unpaid seller will have to unpaid seller will have a right to claim for the damages claim for the users right and stoppage of goods next next time if a buyer that type of buyer is asking goods then that time he should not sell the goods to that person that type of right is also he is having so this type of rights you will have just all you need to is you need to understand the concept that's the only trick thing you are having okay so this is the unpaid seller answer and the last answer is consumer protection act or who is a consumer and what are the rights of consumer got it if in question if you are finding consumer means this answer only if in question if you are finding unpaid seller means just previous answer which which we have discussed that's that answer only who is a consumer the final consumption of a product a person is known as a consumer right so what are the different rights of consumer we will have what are the we will have rights means the first one is right to safety right to safety is nothing but if any product we are buying means the safety precaution should be there right that type of 
safety precaution right we are having as a consumer next one right to choose if we are buying a product means we will have the right to choose right to freedom option you will buy your uh, like the products but not other people who said if your shop owner is saying that you should buy this only then we will buy we know it's our choice if you are liking means you will buy if you are not means you are not buy and next one right to information a person should have a consumer should have a pure information related to the product okay and the fourth one is right to consumer education right to consumer education means we will have a right if your product is a product in a showroom you don't know how to use that you will have a right to educate that okay the shopkeeper will give a proper education about that product that is called consumer thing okay next you will have right to redress right to redress also you will have and right to buy scott buy court you will have okay right to buy court is nothing but if you are not liking one product a particular type of product brand then you can easily buy court it and you can refuse to buy it and you should you can tell it to the others also to not buy it then that type of consumer right we are having and the last one is right to safe environment right to safe environment also you are having so this type of rights you need to write it in your answer and you need to elaborate the answers okay so just again and again i'm saying understand the concept and write everything okay students and one more thing uh, attempt any question attempt each question from unit number 2 okay so this is all about the video if you like this video then do subscribe to our channel because our subscribe our channel is near to 50k subscribers hope we will finish everyone is watching but they are not subscribing if you think that this channel is helpful this channel is genuine if you are benefited by this channel means then just give a subscribe button to our channel because 50k let me uh, know that whether we will finish 50k subscribers by end of june 2024 or not got it so this is the thing ma all the very best for your examination as well as the preparation See you all in next video. Bye-bye students.